Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to import save files into Xenia. Now, why would we want to do this? Well, a lot of Xbox 360 games have unlockables and the game we're focusing on today, Splatterhouse, has three original Splatterhouse games that are unlockable. But I don't want to go and beat Splatterhouse and take hours on end, so I'm just going to go on the internet and find a save file and import it into Xenia. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Once you have your game open, you will want to start a save file. It prompts you to do this in Splatterhouse, but most games will autosave and it will create it uh, in the Xenia content folder. After that, let's go over to the main menu. It's loading there. And you can see I have no story mode completed. There's no arenas, there's no collectibles, uh, no downloadable content. Down there in that classics category, that's actually where you unlock three games. So it's pretty cool, but I'm going to show you, you can go use Google and find save files and you can inject them or import them into Xenia. So here's a website I found called the tech game. They have a lot of Xbox 360 saves. I found this one here. It's got a lot of stuff unlocked. Uh, probably the best one I found. I couldn't find a hundred percent save for this game, but it does have the three games unlocked. I'm going to go ahead and extract it from the uh, zip file it downloads in. And you'll see there it says Splatterhouse. And it really reads on your computer as just a file. It doesn't really have a suffix or extension on it, okay? So we're gonna start the Xenia Canary emulator again. Hit File and hit Install Content. That'll prompt you to choose where the content is or the save file, because you can do this with DLC too. That'll be in the next video. Select my Splatterhouse file there and hit OK, and then I'm gonna go into Open Recent and start Splatterhouse again. Fast forward and you can see that this guy had played 33% of the game, and there are some collectibles unlocked. Those are actually nude photos of a woman that's in the game. It's pretty funny. But under Classics, we have the three Splatterhouse games unlocked. So this game really had four games in one, and I didn't feel like going and buying the originals or playing through this entire game to access the original arcade versions. Um, I think the Splatterhouse 3 is the Genesis version, but I digress. Look how awesome that is. Look how easy that is to import save files into Xenia. So I hope this helped you guys out. I have a playlist on Xenia. Check out my channel. Go under playlist. You'll see my Xenia and Xenia Canary playlist. I'll be doing all types of supporting videos like this to show you little functions that this emulator does, okay? Please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Share this video, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want to connect outside of YouTube, I do have a Twitter where I post video game stuff and top 10 lists, as well as an Instagram where you can see my collection and pickups. I also have a TikTok. You can see Groot, Rocket, and Gamora, my Great Danes, and shorter videos. And I also have a Facebook page you can follow as well. So I look forward to connecting with you.